When you get some new electronics, it can be kind of confusing to figure out how everything works. So you can either read the manual, boring, or you can just start messing with stuff and see what happens. So that's how we're going to figure out the standard form of a parabola, ax squared plus bx plus c. It's got three coefficients, which we can think of as like the three knobs or sliders that change the settings on the parabola. So if we don't know what a does, let's just mess around with it. Looks like if we move a up, it gets a little bit more pinchy. Move a down, it widens out until it flattens and just turns upside down. So let's see, what would we call this kind of change, this kind of motion? It's kind of like, um, it's, it's almost like your arms while you're doing jumping jacks. It's, um, it's, it's making it do some sort of flappy motion. So what are we going to call A? That's, that's the flappy slider. A makes the parabola flappy. All right, let me put this back on one. And now let's see what B does. If I move B up, it looks like it slides down into the left. And if I move B down, it slides down and to the right. Okay, I can't seem to move this parabola upwards with B. It just kind of ducks down to the left or ducks down to the right. So it's making it do something kind of like this. Uh, let's see, what should we call that? If it's making it duck, we could call that the ducky one, right? It's, it's making it duck side to side. So we've got flappy and we've got ducky. Those are the two sliders that we've investigated so far. The last one is C. That one doesn't have any X on it. It's just out there by itself. And so it's not moving it left or right. It's only moving it up and down. This is the vertical slider. It's just moving it vertically up and down. So C is just kind of making it go like this. A is making it flap. B is making it duck side to side and C is making it go up and down, up and down. So as we're trying to figure out what these sliders are doing, and we're just kind of superficially seeing the shape and position of the parabola change, it's worth digging a little deeper and trying to focus on some specifics. For example, if you look at the very bottom of the curve, like the very bottom of that U, that is an important point. We call it the vertex. And if I turn on this little vertex locator, another dotted line shows up. Now watch what happens when I change B. That vertex, as you can see, it's located in that crosshair, follows that path. It looks like there is some hidden path that the vertex is traveling along as you slide B up and down. That's not exactly obvious, but if you dig a little deeper, there you find it. And if you mess with C, you'll notice that that moves that track upwards and moves that track downwards. So C, you can think of as just moving the parabola up and down. But you can also think of it as sliding that path up and down, that path that B makes it travel along. What does A do to that path? Well, if I move A up, it makes the path more pinchy. And if it move A down, it makes the path wider. Let me move B so we can still see it here. And it slides it. Yep, they just kind of switch places. All right, so on the surface level, a is flappy, B makes it duck down side to side, C makes it move up and down. But if you dig a little deeper, maybe B makes it follow this ghost mirror path, C moves that path up and down, and A makes it switch places with its mirror. Let's test out our understanding on some examples. This parabola has the same shape and orientation as a regular y equals x squared parabola. So the leading coefficient a is still probably 1. However, it has been translated down and to the left. That is what happens when you adjust the value of b in the positive direction. When b is negative, it goes down and to the right. But when b is positive, it goes down and to the left. The x-coordinate of the vertex is actually negative b over 2a, so it's really easy when a is 1. It's just half the value of b, but in the opposite direction. So if the vertex is 3 in the negative direction, that means that would be the negative half of the value of b, that would be 6. If b is 6, the vertex should go 3 to the left and then down a whole bunch. How much exactly? 3 squared, so down by 9. 
If you notice, though, the vertex is not down at negative 9. It's only down at negative 5. So it has been lifted up a little bit. That's what C does. Okay, so A has kept it in its original shape. B has shifted it down and to the left, but too far, and C has brought it up a little bit. The value of B is some positive number, in this case, probably 6. And the value of C is another positive number, in this case, probably 4, to bring it up from negative 9 to negative 5. Okay, let's try another parabola. This one's pretty different. It's in a completely different orientation and actually has a different shape. Not only is it upside down, but it's also a little wider than the y equals x squared shape. Now, if it is wider, that means it's closer to being a straight line, and that means that the value of a is closer to zero. In other words, it's a fraction, a negative fraction since it's been flipped upside down. So just picking a random negative fraction, let's just go with a is about negative one half for now. Now, it has also been moved, it looks like, up and to the right. But you have to remember, if a is negative, then this has been flipped over, and that also means that the path that the vertex travels has been flipped over. So think of up and to the right as a rotated 180 degree version of down and to the left. In other words, we have another positive value of b. What the value of b is is going to be a little trickier because a is no longer 1, but it looks like it's over there at 4, so it could be something in the neighborhood somewhere between 2 and 8, definitely a single digit number. We'll leave the specifics for when you're a little bit better at parabolas. Right now we're just trying to get an approximation. It is a positive single digit number and that's good enough. As for the value of C, that one is going to be the trickiest to tell if you're not sure whether it's supposed to have been moved up or moved down. However, just notice how close that vertex is to the x-axis. Based on that parabolic shape that the vertex should be moving on, it seems like it should be a little bit further away from the x-axis at that point, that far to the right. So I'm going to say that this has been brought down some. I'm going to say that the value of C is probably something negative. Again, nothing too big, probably just another negative single digit number. And indeed, the equation for this parabola is negative half x squared plus 4x minus 6.